Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video, uh, which is all about how to use Canva.com. Uh, now, I had actually initially recorded this video before, but for whatever reason, I can't find it on YouTube and it's just not linking in the notes before. So I'm going to do this again. Uh, so just for everyone listening, this is a tool that uh, this is a tool that allows you to create really cool graphics with minimal um, design skills, I suppose. So uh, first, straight off the bat, when you go to Canva.com, what you'll notice is uh, you'll see all your previous uh, designs here, and they'll do, you, you can keep going down. They'll all be they'll all be in here. And what you'll notice up the top here is a whole bunch of design templates. Now you'll you'll want to use one of those design templates for what you're trying to create. Now, if you have a look here, you'll see that I have a design template for a Pinterest image that I create for every Bond Appetit uh, uh, podcast episode that that goes live. Now. Uh, this is uh, this has a podcast recipe, uh, which is the number of the episode. This has got the name and the title, and also got the image um, of the guest. And this remains the same, and everything else about this image remains the same. Even if you look at this one, this is a top and blog title for uh, the same episode. So it's episode number forty-eight. It's the name of the guest and the picture of the guest. This is a square image that I create for every Bond Appetit uh, podcast guest, and uh, it is basically the image of the guest and the name of the guest. Now I have all a bunch of other, I have a whole bunch of other um, designs that I have created. In fact, this one right here is a is a fourteen page uh, workbook that I created in Canva, just as an example, as an exercise. But I'm going to show you. How to create, uh, how to create, uh, you know, any sort of design that you want to use within Canva, and just show you the different tools that are there within Canva. So if you click the plus sign uh, just before, if you just click, go back here and say create a design up the top here, when it says more, you click the plus sign, you'll see a whole bunch of different types of designs that you can create from social media posts and it depends on what you want to create you can just click on whichever one you feel like um, to documents depending on what documents and I uh, was looking at one of these and I decided to create a whole brochure which was uh, not a brochure workbook which was similar to this in template um, your ebooks uh, marketing materials uh, email headers events ads now, if you're creating a Facebook ad, one of the best ways to do is go to canva.com and just click on uh, the Facebook ad here, which it'll update depending on when if Facebook changes its ad structure. What I'd like to do is I would like to create a square image, which is a social, uh, just a social media image, which is an 800 by 800. Now, just in case, I just want to go back to the previous page. Um, if my, if my very where is it? So, for whatever reason, everything has decided to slow up a little bit. Uh, it's probably because I got too many things running. Uh, but just going back here, if if what you're looking for is not within here, and you have specific dimensions that you want to create an image for, you go up here and click on Use Custom Dimensions. You add the width and the height of your design and just click design. You can change the units here from pixels to um, mm to inches, uh, depending on what suits your needs. But I just want to show you quickly how to create um, uh, a square graphics image in here. Now, let's, let's for, for, for argument's sake, I want to create a very similar uh, better design to um, to what I did for the Bon Appetit podcast. So I want to create a template which will allow my assistant to um, to keep adding or differentiating uh, and and for different episodes. So I want a square image which we've selected, and I want a particular design. So if you just go down the left hand side. 
you'll notice there's a whole bunch of designs here. There's no shortage of designs that uh, you can you can make use of within Canva, and you can use any single one of these. Um, somehow, there are so many different ones here. Uh, the the choices are endless. I find it um, too much choice is not necessarily a good thing. Uh, let's see. All right, I didn't find what I wanted. So what I'll do is I'll go into elements. Now within elements, if you go within grids, you can pick uh, different types of grids straight from here. But uh, if you close grids and you go into frames, now this is a really cool feature that Canva has recently added, uh, which means you can actually add uh, different types of grids, uh, sorry, frames to your, uh, to your design. So what I might do uh, for coolness sake is I'm gonna add this frame right here just there in the center uh, of my now because the background is white and everything is is white it, you, you can't actually see how big uh, the background is but I'm just going to change all that to red just so it makes it easier nah, maybe not red maybe I'll go so if you notice here I clicked on a background that actually has um, you, it, it, it's cost you money to buy so either you can buy or be cheap like me <laughs> and and not buy it uh, I might go with a, a gray background like that then I might drag this image up the top and I want some text so uh, let's say I want um, uh, the text to say um, let's use something very simple just up the first one up here and I just want to say uh, the name of the guest so I, I just wanted to not move my image I want it to move my text so I move my text somewhere down here and if I went guest name that's what it's like and now I have my image so as a template now this template is ready so uh, if you look in here the reason why these lovely images are here is because I've just released some episodes um, with Camille with Scott with Cherie uh, with John Lee Dumas uh, John's a handsome guy so we might use John so if, for example, now I want to create um, a square image with John Lee Dumas, all I do is I take John's image, put that in there, that will automatically come up there, and I'll go John Lee Dumas. And, 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 and my image is ready. Now, this image is ready. All I need to do is go download uh, image for web and, and just down and, and hit it'll download it. Um, I, I, I only need the image for web. If you need the, a high quality image then you download a PNG and you can you have more options for you to choose from uh, within here. But I'll show you something else. Now now if I if I told you that this background, I don't want this background, I actually want a white background. Alright and I'll go here and I'll change this to black just so you can see uh, all right so that's that's black but what I want is I want the name of my tile not to cover everything up but I want the name of my tile to appear somewhere so I just add that because it's already uploaded in here uh, I'll say add that looks a bit weird if you ask me but if I take this slightly 
higher. I take this. Down the bottom. I don't like that as much. Um, as much as I thought I would like it. Let's just see. I think I might have another image that's slightly better. Let's go this image. All right. Um, say I want this image. Yeah. And I'm just going to put that in the center. So Now what I can also do is, if you notice, uh, if you look closely, you can see these lines are being crossed over and I, I don't actually want that to happen. I want this image to be come front. So I'll just go click on the image and come, come up here and just click forward a couple of times and it'll just move the whole image into the front. So this is John Lee Dumas on We Are Podcast. And then I go download image for web and that's sorted. Now say I, I, I I, I have a different guest and it's uh, the, the guest now is Chris Ducker. So then I, all I'll do is I'll take Chris Ducker, I'll put him here. So that's sorted. Um, and then I'll go in here and go Chris Ducker. And everything else remains the same. So this becomes a template that I can use for all my podcast guests. I hope that makes sense. Uh, any questions, please let me know. Uh, depends on where you're falling short uh, but I'm happy to chat about different things within Canva but it's fairly easy to use uh, so I hope that's good to get you started. Cheers.